Hey, my name is Jerome Robinson with The Robinson Report. Hey, so I've been getting a lot of flack lately, like a lot of people calling me from all around the country because of my Facebook or because of YouTube. Everything I've said thus far has been the unbiased truth. Let me give you an example. I've got like Cedric Thomas and uh, all these other people like who are literally like hating. I'll give you a quick example. So over the years we've had, it was in the rap world, it was East versus West. Uh, there was all kinds of divide. Uh, right now it's Democrat versus, you know, or sorry, not too long ago, it was Democrat versus Republicans. And Democrats don't realize that they're actually Republicans. Like almost every Democrat is a Republican. They have no idea what it even means to be a Democrat or a Republican. They're just like choosing a side because they think racism has something to do with it. Uh, <clears throat> Hillary Clinton and former President Bill Clinton were very much involved with the KKK, yet to spin it, all of a sudden, he was the blackest president that ever lived before Obama, right? So don't think for a minute, <laughs> Democrats were more prejudiced than anybody at one point or another. Know what you're talking about when you call President Trump a racist. Heck, I wasn't a fan of President Trump. I didn't even vote for him. But it doesn't mean I'm a racist because I will vote for him based on the fact that he's done more for the black man, me, than any other president, including President Obama. I have no, I have no qualms with President Obama. I actually didn't agree with Obamacare at the time. I kind of agree with it now. I'm kind of, believe it or not, more Democrat than Republican. And most Democrats are Republican. People are hating on people. People are hating... <laughs> This whole Black Lives Matter movement, I'm a big fan of it. Make it a peaceful protest. What people don't get when I put a public post is, did I really see George Floyd? Did I really see a white chariot horse? Did I see the mayor crying? Did I see people are actually talking about defunding the police department? I actually got a phone call from somebody today saying how we need to privatize the police. Are you kidding me? Privatization? I was in the military. Privatization of military or police is the most corrupt, craziest thing you could ever do. You're, look, the FBI is already bought and owned by the Democrats, all right? Or let me rephrase that, not the Democrats, the Clintons and George Soros. And these are facts, these are not made up. All, that's all we need is for the Republicans now to have their private police and the Democrats to have their private police. We don't need a civil war. Everybody, be at peace. Love. What the heck? What would Jesus do? I mean, seriously, right now, what would Jesus Christ do? Stop hating on each other. Find something real to hate President Trump about. Like, I, you know how many people ban me from their Facebook and who are now hating on me simply because they... Uh, simply because I agreed with a with a post talking about uh, George Floyd is not a saint and he shouldn't be martyred I'm not saying I've, <laughs> I've done more investigation on police corruption than anybody I've ever met 96 it is my opinion that 96% of all police officers are corrupt in one way, shape, or form, some greater than others. However, that doesn't mean that everybody's guilty. And it doesn't mean we should defund them. In fact, we should fund them more for better training so they don't go out and look for problems, but instead look for solutions. Mayor of Minneapolis with his fake crying? Come on now, let's not go there. Um, there's so much horse crap going on right now. And you all know it deep down in your heart. I'm not like speaking from left field. You know it. Stop. If, 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 if the mayor, <laughs> you guys are killing me right now. Stop the hatred. Stop. Stop. And if I post something or if I put out a video, watch it, read it, take it for what it says, not for what you want it to say. Don't create hate where it doesn't belong. How many people died yesterday? How many people have died? Innocent people. And some of you are condoning the looting and the rioting and the violence and the killings? 
For what? The cops, the four cops, have a history of violence. They are definitely, in my opinion, guilty as from what I know so far. Let the court tell what the court tells and let the truth come out of whatever really did happen. I don't know. But from what I saw, definitely I'm not for the cops. I've never been for the cops. In fact, although I like Sean Hannity, I've never been for Sean Hannity complimenting cops as if they're some hero. No, they're not. They're... I'm not going to put them down, and, and I don't want to, you know, speak ill well of people who aren't here to defend themselves, but bullies with a badge, man, who will say anything to, to, to make a win and to make an arrest. I've seen many cases firsthand. I'm not going to say, and I'm going to disagree with anybody who says that George Floyd was a good man. I'm not saying he was a bad man. That's up between him and his, him and his maker, but I'm not going to tell you he's a good one. Heck no, his, his rap sheet's longer than my arm, with violence, okay? So people, are, people who have no idea what they're talking about are talking about how, oh, George Floyd, uh, the police had no idea what, you know, they didn't know about his rap sheet. Yes, they did. They were actually looking for him. When they arrest somebody or they go after somebody, they pull up their record, it all populates. So they knew they were going to a hostile situation, possibly. Once anybody, I don't care if they're a mass murderer, once they're detained, they hit, handcuffs should have been put on them. He should have been put on in the back of a police car, not killed. I agree with you. Everybody on the left, everybody on the right, I see everybody fighting on Facebook. Y'all agree with each other. You're all fighting over the same thing. Every single one of you are fighting the same exact thing. You all believe the same thing. Stop arguing over dumb stuff. Not that the matter's dumb, but like, you're, what's dumb is the fact that you all agree with each other but don't realize it. If I was a moderator listening to both y'all arguments, you guys are arguing about the same dumb crap. And the ones, some of you, some of you, I say y'all as, as if it was everybody. The reality is some of you are, don't even know what you're arguing about are like protesting something you have no idea even what the truth is about any of it. Like, guys, stop hating. If you hate the president, why do you hate the president? Because he lies? Joe Biden was on record. He was he was uh, recorded. And it's all public record lying. Uh, 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 Mr. Powell, <laughs> voting uh, Democrat, well, he's butthurt. He's butthurt from what the Bush administration, Bush administration did to him. And he's pissed off at Republicans. He voted for Hillary, who's one of the most corrupt politicians ever to walk the face of the earth. So his point really doesn't matter, in my opinion. The facts are this. Do your homework. Black lives do matter, but so does every life matters. Every life, whether you're white, black, Puerto Rican, Hispanic, they all matter. Before Black Life Movement, <laughs> in Bridgeport, Connecticut, there was a big Puerto Rican movement. And it took 9-11 to band all people together because all there was was Puerto Rican flags in my neighborhood. And when 9-11 happened, everybody ch changed into American flags. Now you want to burn American flags? Now you want to threaten to come to my house and burn my American flag? Watch out for the bullseye. I'm saying, don't come to my house. Don't bring your crazy ass drama to my house. Because me, my afro, my kilt, will put its leather boot up in your backside if you bring that nonsense back into my town and into my neighborhood or to my house. Cut the crap, stop acting like a little BS, little baby. Or I'll put you over my knee and I'll spank you myself. Each and every one of you. Shut up and grow up. Thank you. Jerome Robinson, The Robinson Report. As always, I'm out. Please. Jeez.